Good morning. I wanted to talk a bit about uh, how to stay healthy and have a good long career in lawn care and in general. Um, what people don't seem to understand is that we are a parasite of inverse hierarchy in that our hosts are tiny organisms that live within us instead of the traditional um, structure of a parasite that lives within the host. But regardless of how the accommodations are set, it's very important that the parasite not kill the host. And that's why you don't want to use products that kill organics other than natural stuff because our hosts, the tiny organisms within us, are of the same general makeup as the plants outside here. So if you're exposing yourself to herbicides and um, in the application process and in your food uh, and through absorption through your skin because you're still mowing places where they have the herbicide application then it gets atomized into the air and absorbed through your skin then you're going to have issues where despite taking as many vitamins and supplements as as you could imagine and spending as much money as you could imagine you could take 55 gallon drums of vitamins per day and have zero beneficial effect because the pill on many of the vitamins is the food for the, the organisms within us, and then their byproduct, their waste, is the vitamin, what we consider the vitamin that our bodies can use. So you'll be nutritionally deficient despite how much, any amount of money that you spend, any amount of supplementation that you use. Um, and it, it's something that's hard to overcome. Now it's important to keep it off your skin as well when it's atomized in spray or from the fanning of the lawn with the mower blades. Because your skin is the largest organ in your body, and like if you want to shuttle a lot of magnesium into your system, take a Epsom salt bath, and that'll correct your electrolytes really rapidly. And then, and then couple that with some supplementation of potassium and boron and uh, magnesium. Or no, magnesium is the Epsom salt, but it goes together and, and sodium in the good form of Himalayan sea salt. So there's issues here on this lawn that are making it such that they are not likely to have health in themselves and or their lawn in that they put this uh, limestone aggregate on the sides here, which prevents me from cutting that deep, dark channel for decomposition, uh, phenolithic spacer, and for percolation from rainwater runoff. But I'm going to talk to them and see if we can't figure out a solution for that. It's not necessarily bad in that it is supportive in case a vehicle would come off of here. Um, because, you know, in when if you have high moisture in a lawn and it's high moisture retentive, then you can have liquefa liquefaction where that soil would not be supportive of the weight of a vehicle. I think we can correct it by them quit spraying and letting me cut in an edge and it's going to blow a lot of rock the first couple times but once that channel gets cut that limestone is not necessarily detrimental to the lawn um there's other issues but um another factor on the issue of the inverse parasitic function of the human body is when you're if you if for instance you would mow this too low and then have to use irrigation well, that takes out of a general common supply of, of uh, available moist or liquid water that now is no longer available for agricultural production, which means they're going to try to go towards to support the people and not call it, have fa mass famine. They, they would go towards a uh, genetically modified product that your body doesn't recognize and it causes massive inflammation. And it also has if and the herbicides that are applied to it to increase the yield despite not having enough water and enough nutrients in the soil, which is also a factor of of cut height. And that if you cut too low, it can't compost its clippings, um, and it can't stay in an anabolic state where it grows and has clippings to fall and be in a damp, dark, shaded 
uh, moisture retentive lawn and build its own nutrients, which then can go out and be, you know, feather out into crop production. But so as they, they focus on uh, false foods to satiate the sensation of eating, then you'll have more of those problems because as you eat it, then you're wiping out the, you're killing the host. You're killing your host. It seems uh, inverted, yes, I know, because in this case, the host is very much smaller than the parasite. But here was another issue on this lawn that came up. And, you know, it's things that we can probably work through, but the landscaping was put in without the weed barrier. So there's endless amounts of grasses trying to grow up in there and it's beautiful but i just don't know i i'm not going to accept the uh responsibility of keeping that those beds weed uh free but i am doing them a favor and then i'm cutting in a delineation which helps with lawn growth into the lawn because of percolation and uh composition decomposition uh, composting uh there's a nice butterfly right there. Um, but you can see there then, I'm, I'm leery in that they may turn towards the use of uh, herbicides and that's not good for them. So I'm gonna have that conversation and I'm gonna actually structure a letter that addresses it for all of my customers that are spraying still. And it's not just about their health, it's about mine in that I'm on that same lawn. And, and the same with cut height because a lower cut lawn, lawn below the healthy height of the grasses triggers the 40 times higher allergen protein load in the pollen count for those grasses. And I'm more risk than the customer because I'm out on the lawn with fanning blades, at, you know, bringing that up into the, the air that I... Quick addendum on that subject is of the best rest of your life is that I talk about on the other lawn how it affects the health health of yourself and your body but there is the other aspect there's been evidence in studies showing that by selection of the microorganisms within you from what you eat and what you're exposed to you can ch change and alter your mood so it's not just about physical health it can have to do with emotional health as well all right y'all have a good day